Welcome back guys to another episode. It's been a bit of a busy weekend but I'm back and the first thing I noticed um, <laughs> was, our, was our barns were quite full. Just, just looking through them all and even our markets as well are very very full. So I guess one of the first things I need to do is to kind of fix that issue. And I know some of the, the larger barns, I can expand them. But what I'll do is if I just chuck a couple more in here, where are we now? Put those ones there. I'll leave a little bit of a gap as we've done here. How many? That's three. So one, two, three, and then do one there. Well, I need a road. It's going to be four, isn't it? Yep. And again, another one. Basically, it's just. Yeah, the amount of food we're producing is just overwhelming. Now, as our population increases, it's not going to be a big problem. So, let's actually come back over here and we'll unpause it. We're still doing quite quite well for wood. Oh, what have we got here? Llamas. Hmm. I don't remember if I set a field down for them. Yeah, I did. It's being built at the moment. So obviously we do need more labourers, and that's that's what we're waiting on, kind of. Um, yeah, we do we do have some children, and we're going to need another school as well, very very shortly. Although some have left, but that that will soon fill up again once once I do what I was uh, doing. At the beginning of the series, I started following a family. Now I've not really mentioned much about them. But I have been tracking them, and trust me, the the family tree is looking rather, rather complicated. I I will uh, actually put it up on screen at some point, not in this episode. So just so everyone can see how you know two people can quite affect the the the, uh, the city because they they spread out through most of the houses when I looked around. Yeah, so the, they've they've definitely taken over. It's a huge family. Right, is this barn, that barn? You see, if I if I upgrade that, they've got nowhere to enter it to. So that's, that's that's a little bit of a problem. Do you know? I'm gonna just put another couple of builders. In. I know we need the labourers, but the the builders are having a hard time of it. So we'll do that. And goodness, that's quite full as well, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe I could put another glass works and another bricks works in. We'll have to see. There's still plenty of stockpiles around, and we will be moving this as well at some point. Yeah, that's too small. Again, like I said before, what I planned to do was just to build around this sort of area, make this kind of the central hub, so we'll have some docklands and. Like all the main buildings on well it's an island isn't it so we'll have have everything on this island we'll then just build everything which is not an island <laughs> almost an island but I know what I mean so this this kind of central area here and we'll build around it we definitely got enough farmland oh, I might actually notch that up just a touch and we'll try and prioritize these these barns because that will become a bit of an issue I think let's do that and hopefully someone will jump to it and this house has still not even been replaced yet we've got we've got stone we could get them to collect some more though yep that'll do maybe these are a little bit too big you know it is, uh, it's, it's tempting to make some smaller ones. Can't remember how big I built them now. Let's have a look. Crop fields. Whoops. Try that again. Yeah. Maybe just a little bit too wide more than anything. I mean, that probably would have been enough. So, you know, seven or eight wide. But at some point, I might just split them in half. Once we have more crops, rather than expanding and taking over the landscape. But we'll see how we go. These are not too bad though. 
hopefully these are coming to chop the trees down. Yep. Let's see what the merchants got. Please be don't not be animals. Don't want any animals. <laughs> Bone meal. No, I don't need any of that really. Did I build a chandler? I did, yeah. Oh jeez, 11. Well, I can definitely take them. I've got the food. It's more about houses. Yeah, oh my goodness. Definitely going to need some homes now. Oh, dysentery. Jeez. Well, I'm going to pause that a sec. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did actually build a hospital, but I'm going to have to double check that one. Let's see what these houses look like. I want I want a specific looking one. Yeah, that's a nice enough one. We'll put that in there. And we can chuck a worker in there. We should have plenty of beeswax to keep that going. Alright, I need to, to figure out what I'm doing with all these families. Oh, and the disease as well. Did I build a hospital? Hmm. If I did, it would have been over here. Yep, we got one. But we've got no one working in there, so we'll chuck somebody in. And we'll unpause it again. So hopefully, that will fix that issue. And we're going to need to put some more houses in, aren't we? Maybe on this side as well. We'll put them. One, two, three. And we'll leave that gap as before. Three wide, wasn't it? One, two, and three. They might not all need to live over this side, but as I'm going to be expanding the farmland and putting more people in these these pastures and fields, because at the moment I'm running it quite low, we'll definitely need the homes. Let's uh, well, if they're all labourers, let's get them to come over here and where's the prioritise button? That one. Get them to come over here and clear this so we can get the houses in as quickly as possible. Who's got the disease? And they're going to the doctor, which is perfect. Hopefully, no one else catches anything. <laughs> they should go in. Oh no, they see they passed someone and gave it to them. <laughs> Thankfully, they've, they've both gone in straight away, so that's good. Read the house. Yeah, it's going to make us some candles. Good. I bet my llamas are dying over there, not being in a field. Not good. Only if we've got four. Oh, no. Oh, that's a two-headed llama. <laughs> oh, that just looks weird. <laughs> well, you know, we do have inbred people in this town, so I guess we've got inbred animals as well. <laughs> Two heads and all that. Actually, let's have a quick look at the school again. 12, it seems to be coping rather well, actually. I'm quite surprised. I don't know if I'll put another one right next to it, because where the houses are out here. Oh, goodness, another one. Um, Yeah getting distracted by the diseased people but could put one out here as well to teach all the farmers what's taking so long with these builders let's chuck another couple in there up to five times waylord what an interesting name sounds rather like something else Right, here we go. Having a good go at this now. Thankfully we're in summer anyway, so they shouldn't freeze to death or anything like that. And we're going to put, I think it was llamas in here, wasn't it? Yep. Oh, yeah, I need to drop that to one, don't I? There we are. just realised I'm going to need some butchers as well. 
Pretty sure there's some of the new buildings. Uh, cow butcher, sheep, llama, bison. Yep. Hmm. Now, I think they'd, they'd look good up here. Really. So we might build another market. I don't know if that was the biggest one. I think it was. Let's have a look. Market buildings. Small rural, yeah, it is the biggest one, but you know, we could have more than one. We might chuck another up here and have some of those butchers around. What have you brought us today? A warm coat? No, we're okay, we don't need that. We'll be able to make our own soon enough. Estevud, the showman has died of dysentery. Oh dear. <laughs> Estherford was the person I was looking for in the past. Remember I said, I think, I don't know if it was in the last episode or the one before that. Um, if if you watch some of the people's uh, videos on YouTube, I think they named their town Estherford, if I remember rightly. It, it, it sticks in my head anyway, so, yeah, that, that was the, the name that, that rang a bell to me. Right, oh, wow. Those houses got thrown up very quickly. So, everyone's got a home now. We've even got some spare ones. Holy. That's fantastic. Now the food probably will start to drop, and it <laughs> it is a little bit. It's not a problem. I mean, we kind of need it to drop a touch anyway, because these, uh, these barns are quite full. Oh, no, it's going to start going up now anyway. What's the maximum? 30. I might need to increase that, actually. Because we don't want it going to waste. What else? How else are we looking? Uh, fuel, 2,000. Well, we'll up that to 5. Just because not only are we doing the firewood that we're trading, but also over here, we're producing furnace fuel for these. And they, they unfortunately stack as fuel. So if I have too much wood, then... Yeah, that's, that's going to cause me an issue there. Uh, logs, 3,000 is still fine. Cloves, we'll up that to 500. I don't think we're going to get it just yet. Luxuries is already over. We'll up that to 5, just, just in preparation. Herbs is very low. Put that to 5 as well. And tools will up as well to 5. Oh, we're getting some stuff done in this episode. It helps having all the workers, of course. Right, that's built now. So if we if we tell them to upgrade this one, so they'll empty everything out, and it'll probably go to this one here. Let's just pin that there a second. It's probably they might try and fill up some of the other ones close by first, but yeah, look, is it that one? Some people walking back and forth. Oh no, it's been been emptied quite a bit. What have we got in these? See, we've got to buy some meat. Now, if we had a butcher, he would he would do stuff with that. I think people will just take that anyway and eat it. I'm not sure. Let's have a see. Buy some meat. Yeah, they'll just take it. But obviously, if you have a butcher, they do various things with it. You get you get some of the other bits and pieces from that would usually be wasted as well. So, we'll do that soon, I think. Once we've got this area sorted. Taking their time to rebuild this house. Built all the house ones first. Yeah, I think we will half the size of these. Maybe in the next season. We'll see. Definitely really are getting a lot done. Let's have um, missed some roads down here. Who else has died? Ali the Shoreman. Was Ali one of the uh, children? I'm trying to remember now. Ali. Hmm. I don't think so. It might have been Ellie. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm getting my wires crossed. Put some rows up here. Oops. I've got another trader. What have we got now? Pipe tobacco. I'm not sure if we can actually grow tobacco or not. I need to see if there's a seed for that, but why not? We may as well take it anyway, because we have the beer garden. Uh, da, 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 da. 
search it with. Oh, we don't need a lot of this. Maybe need an additional. Okay. Maybe need more than I thought. I go into invest in a calculator. I think. <laughs> Can't be a thousand. Oh yeah, what's an idiot? I'm looking at this number instead of this. <laughs> we'll take that. Radish. Hmm. I don't think they have that. Let's pin it and go and check. Let's see what seeds we've got. Nope, we haven't. So we'll take them. The more the merrier. Right, so again, now this will be about 800, I suppose. Getting getting closer. 150. So maybe our mouse is not playing ball. Oh, that was so close. So awkward. There we are. <laughs> I can tell him to go away. Actually, there we are. Right. So have the they upgraded this yet? No, they're still empty in it. I oh, know they're demolishing it now, and it's yep, it's filled one of the barns up straight away. Do you know? What? I should have probably. I'm pretty sure you can build the storage warehouse straight away. So let's see. Bank barn, meat locker. Oh, maybe you can't. Hmm. Well, we'll upgrade that one straight away. I think. So we've got some of these other buildings we could build as well. Trading post we've already got. Smuggler's dock. Hmm. The decisions. Have we run out of stone or something? No. Well, we've definitely got enough builders. We're just being lazy. I think as well we'll we'll upgrade all these roads to stone just to speed things up. Doing okay, I think. Maybe, yeah. I did say I would put an extra couple of people in these, just because we were running out. Probably more to do with food shortage than anything at the time. How's he doing? Thirty candles. I don't even know. Did I actually take those into houses? I don't think they do. Hmm. Okay, well, well, might need them for the chapel anyway. Right, I think what we will target to do now is we will uh, clear all these resources from here and we will start building the, uh, the dot ones. Now we've got some glass and bricks, we should be able to do some of these things. So we'll get our workers on that. We'll probably build it all the way around here. Not sure how far across down we'll come, but we'll see. Maybe just to the edge of the, the river. And then we can start building the butchers. We'll build another market square. And then we look at things like uh, statue carvers. We'll really, really expand this area. Make it a proper sort of trade district. But you'll have to come back to the next episode to see that because I'm going to leave it right there. So until next time, take care.